A significant innovation in the field of electric cars is likely to rock the boat. Axial flux motors are here to address some of the common issues with EV motors, such as weight and environmental concerns, while also increasing range. And some of the companies are at the forefront of this revolutionary technology right now, such as Yasa, the Mercedes-owned company. So what exactly is axial motor? How does it appear different from normal radial motors? What is its working principle and what are the pros of it that one should know? If these questions are up in your mind, then you've landed on the right video. So without further delay, let's get started. The Mercedes-Benz owned company Yasa recently made headlines by displaying their axial flux motors in the amazing new Vision 111 concept automobile. But keep in mind that while this technology has so far only been employed in hypercars, there's a strong chance that you'll see a lot more of these motors on the road in the coming years. Radial flux motors are currently used nearly entirely in the electric vehicle industry. While this technique has produced some extremely powerful EVs, axial flux motors are superior in virtually every regard. They are not only lighter and smaller, but they also have increased torque and power efficiency. These groundbreaking motors deliver a lot more punch in a much smaller and lighter design. The axial flux motor is a game changer for vehicle designers, opening up a whole new universe of possibilities. So what is an axial motor and how does it work and what are its benefits? As we know, a motor is a piece of machinery that turns the motor's power into electrical power. Its operation is based on the electromagnetism of the magnetic field generated by the structure's coil and magnet. Usually it is classified into two forms based on the direction of the magnet, axial flux motors and radial flux motors. Although the axial flux motor was invented earlier, its future development was hampered by the material and technological levels available at the time. When it comes to motor design, a typical radial flux motor comprises a relatively substantial support component known as a stator yoke when it comes to motor design. One of the most significant advances of axial motors is the elimination of the necessity for the yoke, which decreases stator iron mass by 80%. As a result, the power density of axial flux motors is two to three times that of radial flux motors. A Yasa motor may produce up to 480 horsepower while weighing only a quarter of the weight. We'll get to the other fantastic advantages of this lower mass later. Electric vehicles are already recognized for their high torque levels, but axial flux motors are going to take things to the next level. It all comes down to an axial machine's larger radius. Because torque is defined as force multiplied by radius, an axial flux motor has higher torque figures than a radial flux motor. Yasa Motors takes it a step further by using significantly shorter and more optimized copper windings. Because of all of these considerations, Yasa axial flux motors have four times the torque density of other EV motors on the market. An axial flux motor not only has higher torque density, but it also takes up 50% less space than its radial equivalent. Yasa Motors' small size opens up a whole new universe of options for automotive designers. This has already been demonstrated with a Mercedes-Benz Vision 111 and its enormous lounge-like cabin. One disadvantage of radial flux motors is that their power decreases under high-intensity situations as the windings heat up. Consider this, if radial flux motors are like normal brakes, axial flux motors are like vented discs that can withstand more demanding situations. This is due to significantly shorter windings and direct oil cooling. Because of its design, Yasa axial flux motors offer a significant thermal efficiency advantage. Axial flux motors provide these incredible benefits while being less mechanically difficult. When compared to standard radial flux motors, Yasa motors use fewer copper, iron and permanent magnet materials. This results in cheaper material costs and an overall more environmentally sustainable product. Axial technology ensures greater range to electric vehicles, and that's true. While axial flux motors are just as electrically efficient as radial flux motors, their smaller size and weight result in higher total range efficiency. Heavy batteries, motors and other components have long been a barrier to EV adoption. Lightweight EVs are more efficient, resulting in increased range. The use of Yasa axial flux motors can have a cascading effect on an EV's range. Because the motor is so small and light, less framework is required to mount it, saving even more weight. With a modest engine, you may get away with a smaller battery to accomplish the same range, further lowering weight. 
A lighter battery means that its supporting structure will be reduced as well. Other subsystems, such as brakes and cooling, can benefit from weight reduction as well. Overall, Yasa Motors can achieve a 5-10% to improvement in efficiency and range. This cutting-edge technology has a slow start. Axial Flux technology has actually been around for a long time, but for a variety of reasons, it's only recently gained traction. Michael Faraday invented a primitive disc motor with the qualities of an axial flux motor in 1821. He also experimented with what became known as radial flux motors. Both technologies were tested extensively during the years that followed, and each had its own distinct merits. However, there was a significant barrier that prevented axial flux technology from becoming commercially viable. Despite their benefits, axial flux motors were difficult to commercialize due to their manufacturing complexity. Other obstacles had to be solved with axial flux technology. The design had a complicated winding as well as inadequate cooling capability, which was critical for thermal efficiency. Yasa eventually made a breakthrough, allowing the motor to be made of soft magnetic composite or SMC. The axial flux design overcame considerable difficulties by harnessing the benefits of SMC. It decreased production costs and increased cooling by simplifying the winding and removing complexity. The potential of axial flux motors has increased dramatically as a result of these improvements. With better performance, cost effectiveness and cooling capabilities, they are now poised to power the next generation of EVs. Yasa motors are already breaking records. Yasa axial flux motors have previously been used in some extremely thrilling applications. 007 himself put the technology to the test in the legendary Jaguar CX-75 concept car featured in the 2015 James Bond film Spectre. This hybrid electric concept automobile was powered by four Yasa motors, pushing technology to new heights in true Bond manner. With a high-performance Koenigsegg Regera, Yasa Motors made their way into production road cars. The company is now collaborating with top-tier sports car manufacturers to provide powertrain solutions centered on its axial flux electric motors. With a hybrid Stradale SF90, Ferrari became Yasa's first OEM customer in large-scale manufacturing. In addition, the company is smashing world records. Yasa supplied the electricity for a converted Lola Le Mans prototype in 2013. It broke the electric land speed record while weighing less than 1,000 kilograms. In 2015 and 16, Yasa-powered cars made their mark at the prestigious Pikes Peak Hill Climb. They not only won the overall competition, but they were also the first electric car to complete the difficult course in under 9 minutes. The business did not stop there, they also pushed the boundaries of what is possible in the field of electric propulsion, breaking speed records in the water in 2018 and in the air in 2021. In 2021, Yasa's story took an exciting turn when it became a fully owned subsidiary of Mercedes-Benz. Mercedes intends to prioritize the integration of Yasa motors into AMG vehicles for improved performance and efficiency in both fully electric and hybrid vehicles. However, Yasa intends to continue supplying motors to other OEMs for the time being. Mercedes-Benz's decision demonstrates the industry's growing appreciation of the possibilities of axial flux motors. As Yasa's technology establishes its worth, other manufacturers will be tempted to investigate the advantages of axial flux motors. Well, for axial motors, we can definitely say that these motors have numerous potential uses and are being optimized for various power levels, power densities and price ranges. There will always be chances for the highest power-to-weight ratios and there will also be rising opportunities as well. The next generation of electric passenger and freight vehicle designs will place a great emphasis on weight reduction, which is a significant opportunity if costs can be decreased. What are your thoughts on it though? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.